Hi, I'm Sharon Yates from the Neural Systems Laboratory at the University of Oslo. And for this tutorial, I'm going to introduce the Quint workflow. So what is Quint? Quint is a workflow for extracting, quantifying and localizing labeled objects such as cells from histological images from mouse and rat brain. The workflow takes advantage of three-dimensional digital atlases and machine learning technology to enable standardized regional quantification without the need for more time-consuming methods such as count estimates by sterology. As output, the Quint workflow produces a series of reports and coordinate files that can be visualized with our 3D Atlas viewer. The Quint workflow combines several open access tools shared on the eBrains platform and takes you through a series of steps, including linear and non-linear registration of the images to a reference atlas with the Quickney and Visualign software, extraction of the labeled objects with the Elastic software using machine learning algorithms, and the quantification of your objects per atlas region with the Neutral Quantifier software. And in this tutorial, I'll give you a quick demo of each of the steps involved and hopefully encourage you to consider using it for your own research. OK, so let's get going. Currently, Quint is available for the Waxholm Space Atlas, the Sprague Dawley Rat versions 2, 3 and soon version 4, and the Allen Mouse Brain Atlas Common Coordinate Framework version 3, and we have both the 2015 and 2017 versions. The tools uh, work on 64-bit operating systems, Windows 7 or later. And before you start, you'll need to prepare two sets of images with different resolutions, one for registration to the Atlas and one for extraction of your objects. And the reason that you need two sets of images is because the Quickney and Elastic software have different input requirements, which I've described in more detail in our user manual. Once you've prepared your files, you're ready for the first step of the workflow, which is registration to the Atlas. To open the Quickney software, download the version that corresponds to the Atlas that you want to work with, in this case, the 2017 version of the Allen Mouse Brain Atlas, and click on the executable file. You'll now see a main window for viewing the sections and the Atlas. To load your images, click on Manage Data and load the XML or JSON descriptor for your image series. Instructions for generating this file are included in the user manual. You're now presented with a list of images, so click on one of these. This takes you back to the main window where you can toggle between the section and the atlas and can view different versions of the atlas. And the NISL template is particularly useful for seeing the cell layers. At this point, you want to find the approximate position of the section in the atlas. And you can do this by adjusting the cutting plane in the sagittal, coronal and horizontal views and by adjusting the size of the atlas and uh, position with this navigation panel. And at this point, I'm going to toggle between the section and the atlas. And I can see that I need to adjust the position some more to get a better match on the hippocampus. I'm going to adjust the size um, some more here. And rotate slightly. And I'm fairly happy there. And so I'm going to press store and then go back to the list of uh, the images. Once the section is anchored, it comes up as green and the software will automatically estimate and update the position of the other sections based on the numbering, which speeds up the anchoring process a lot. And you typically only need to anchor a few sections in the beginning and end of the series before all the sections are well positioned. The last step is to determine the exact dorsal ventral and medial lateral cutting angles using the buttons in the sagittal, coronal and horizontal views 
to apply these to the whole series and to make fine positional adjustments to all the sections. To do this, compare the appearance of landmarks in the right and left hemisphere and in the dorsal or anterior parts of the brain relative to the ventral or posterior parts of the brain across a number of sections. Select the angles that fit best for the whole series. In this case, the appearance of the hippocampus differs significantly in the right and left hemisphere. And so I will adjust the medial lateral angle. And I use these buttons here to do that. That's better. Once you've made the final adjustments across the whole series, you're ready to export the Atlas maps and the JSON descriptor containing the registration information. And you do that with these buttons here. Once the Quickney registration is done, you have the option to apply nonlinear adjustments to the Atlas maps with the Visualign software. To do this, open the Visualign software and select the JSON file from Quickney that contains the registration information. Inspect the Atlas maps by toggling between the section and the Atlas maps. To apply adjustments, drop markers with the space bar and move to the new position. You can place as many markers as you want. This nonlinear registration step is optional, but improves the precision of the registration and is particularly useful for sections that deviate from the Atlas template due to deformations. Once you're done, save a new JSON file and export the updated Atlas maps with the export button. Okay, for the second part of the workflow, you open the Elastic software and select pixel classification. You then save your project file in the same location as your images. Next, you upload some training images. And these are basically a selection of the images that have labeling that is representative of the labeling in the whole series. And then you go to feature selection to select the features to include in your algorithm. And I generally select all the features here and you can refine this later if you wish. And then you're ready to train your classifier. At this point, uh, I generally create two classes. So a foreground class representing your labeling and a background class for the background. And then you're ready to place annotations on the image. Uh, and so you zoom in and label some example pixels of each class. And it helps to be really specific with your labeling here, because a lot of this process is actually about defining the boundaries between the labeling and the background. And once you place some annotations, you can press the live update button to inspect your predictions. And there are a lot of different overlays you can switch on and off to inspect the final output. And I'm actually quite happy here. At this point, uh, you would generally um, scroll around the image and apply more um, annotations if necessary. And you can also switch to another training image in the series and apply more annotations as required. Next, uh, you're ready for export of your segmentations. And so you select the simple segmentations here and export all to apply the classifier to your training images, or you can go to the batch processing applet uh, to apply the classifier to your whole image series process all files. Now that you have the Atlas maps and the segmentations for all your images, you're ready for the third part of the workflow, which is Nutil analysis. To open the Nutil software, press the Nutil CMD file 
and select run. Go to the operations tab, select new and quantifier. You're then presented with a form to fill in. Give your project a name and navigate to the folder containing the segmentations. Next, navigate to the folder containing the atlas maps and select the atlas that you worked with. You then need to find the JSON file containing the registration information, either from Quickney or from Visualign, and select the folder where you want your output to be saved. The last step is to select the color of the objects that you want to extract from the segmentations. And in this case, they were red. There are many options for customized analysis with help buttons that explain each feature. The advanced settings are pre-filled. You can go in there and change those if you wish. Once you're happy, you save a copy of your parameters in a new file for your own records and press start to run the analysis. Okay, so let's explore the Newtil output. Newtil generates a series of reports with object counts and percentage load per atlas region that can be used to generate all sorts of plots. It also generates overlay images with the objects superimposed on the atlas maps. And finally, it generates coordinate files that can be opened with mesh view to visualize the extracted objects in 3D atlas space. A series of tutorials that explores the full potential of each tool with reference to real examples will be made available at a later date, so keep an eye out for those.